Oh my god. I would really be into I'm not a big fan of the congestion. I'm not a big fan of the tightness of it. There's too much stuff going on. Kind of a headache. Have to worry about. Also, we have to break. Like, I put my headphones in this box so it doesn't break. And it just had to rip, get ripped up. So, we have to break in my house, bro. I'm trying to slowly shift away from that belief thing and I think to myself. I'm trying to think of myself more. Something doesn't always have to break. Something can just be. Everything can be fine, you know? Everything can go well in life. I've got this weird feeling that I think to myself that when things are going good, for example, something has to go wrong. And that puts me in a weird mindset in which I'm kind of preparing myself for something to go wrong and I end up doing that something wrong and I think to myself, oh yeah, karma. But how can it be karma when it's just all my own mistake? You know, I'm far much better off thinking, yes, this is my fault instead of karma and relying on, on uh, external forces in order to justify my own mistake. Like people would say, for example, oh, but the economy was shit and that's how I couldn't get rich. And then they ignore the countless other rich people that got rich or countless other people that did get rich throughout the pandemic, recession, etc, etc, whatever it was. You know these things in lieu favor of taking up the idea of oh it's not my fault because I was uh, I, I was I was gonna my job and I got a nine to five but then these same individuals the individuals that spend six hours after work from five to eleven in bullshit activities like oh it's not eating eating is not bullshit activity. And go, oh, but I, but I spent like an hour eating, 20 minutes, you can probably you can eat in 20, 30 minutes, right? You get everything done in an hour, right? Shower, 10, 20 minutes, 10, 20 minute shower is quite long, 10 minutes, eating, 20 minutes, shower, 10 minutes, external city, you may spend time with the family, half an hour to an hour, but that's an hour and a half. You've got like another four hours, five hours, or pretty much free time you can spend on what you, what you want to do. And this is if you're managing time correctly, which a lot of individuals don't do, and then they come at me for saying this to them. But fuck it, manage your life. I don't, I don't care. You know, these type of individuals that make up all the excuses in order to rationalize their lack of competency. And I completely and utterly relate because for all my life, I've just been a talker. I think I've touched on touched this topic on a video before, but I haven't really given the analogies that I've given now, and I really haven't kind of taking another step on how to, instead of just complaining, trying to provide a solution for my pain here, which is 100 percent of the way. I think the biggest solution for the, I'm just talking so much, but I really want to get stuff done. Like you say, you talk, really talk the talk and you really, really, really talk, talk it. And you know, I want to be rich one day. And I want to be famous one day. I'm going to be a famous rapper one day. I want to be this, da, 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 da. like a lot of people do talk and a phenomenal talk and you know, what? that's fine. But then there comes a different aspect that you people need to figure out, which is action. Obviously, the best is having both. And it is difficult to have both, admittedly. Some individuals are just all walk, no talk. Some individuals are just talk. And uh, no work, and no walk. And some individuals are talk and walk, at least for a short period of time, before the ego gets to them. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Roger as well. It's kind of, it's kind of sad to see. I'm just tired. You know, for all my life I've been this individual that talks really good talk. I'll be rich. I'll be a boxer. I'll be this, the world champion. But then, when it comes around to how much effort I should put in, like it's, it's quite minuscule in comparison. It's quite embarrassing in comparison. I haven't put in enough effort, and it shows. It shows heavily. I feel, I feel so blessed to have this much luck getting monitors. I haven't tried to get more. I could have got more, but I haven't tried to get more because um, I want. I don't have enough space. Straight up, it's crazy. Oh man, I, I got a lot of my mind at moment. Anyways, the biggest way I'm really tired about it. Sorry guys, it's like almost one a.m. Twelve a.m. 
till tonight. Um, my wisdom to the third. I think the best way to circumnavigate this pro lack of productivity, this lack of walk, like I've talked before, is to have a drastic environment shift or a drastic identity shift. And I think identity shift takes a while, despite the fact that it, se it, seem it seems and sounds more in imminent comparative comparatively to environment shift. Like I said, you need to change the position in which you work. Or you change something fundamentally in where you work, on how you work, and that makes you so much more productive. Like, for example, my mom cuts the internet. I used to be angry at this notion, but now I'm looking forward to it because when my mom does cut the internet, maybe at like 11, that's an hour from 11 to 12 where I'm so immensely productive because my body is like, and my mind is like, hey, we don't have internet, we don't have any instant gratification bullshit just constantly ringing in our ears. We can't hear the soothing, comforting lies of the internet and all the social media platforms. We only have a work in front of us. And when we only have a work in front of us, it becomes incredibly, incredibly attractive to do our work, right? That's in the, in the book, In Atomic Habits, he talks about it. James Clay talks about it very, very often. Make it attractive. That's one of the first steps of creating a habit. And I think that turning off the internet for me and controlling my internet usage was like the biggest switch towards becoming more productive. Also like free on my desk. I remember um, Ilan Gaji, he talked before in his free monk mode video. Like, you gotta free up your desk bro. Like, yeah, my desk right now is packed. But there should be usually no more than six things on your desk. Straight up. If there is more than six things on your desk. Your mind cannot think. Your thoughts become completely incoherent. And they become preoccupied with other things. I'm cleaning my room because I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it for a second. I need to clean my room Jesus Christ. My room is it's not dirty, but it is messy. So yeah, one is environment shift, two is identity shift. Identity shift is like when you see yourself as more productive. You know, it isn't beneficial to have this thought, yeah, I, I, I really talk the talk but I don't really walk the walk. I mean that's step one because you realise there's an issue, you're not walking the walk, you aren't living in delusion. However, it isn't beneficial for you to constantly live in that the thing. That reality, so to speak. Because if you talk the talk, most individuals that see you talk the talk will half believe you. And after they half believe you, it will turn into a, a non non believe you because they don't see the action, right? But only through action I can't try to say only through action they will believe you. It's only after a subsequent what is this, immense amount of action that you a subsequent immense amount of action. Bro, I need to learn the English language, man. Because of one in I'm tired, but but it's only after immense immense action that happens subsequently after. These individuals respect you, and these individuals could be your family, your friends, your partner, your co workers. When you talk the talk, when you walk the walk, bro, you will, you will inspire insecurity. Consolidating an individual that aren't necessarily affluent or not necessarily understanding the path, perhaps like an entrepreneur, for example, who's been through it, or perhaps like a motivational speaker, or a mentor, like they have, like, a, like could understand you. Most people will get immensely, immensely jealous. Their egos will, get, will blind them. The humans will function in egos. They won't work, ladies and gentlemen. As if you're looking for other people's advice, by the way. But what will work is if you change your identity of things, if you see yourself as more productive, and subsequently after, you have actions supporting that identity, 
If you don't have action supporting that identity that you are more productive, you will not become more productive. You will think you're being right. you're gonna you think you're gonna be a lie to yourself. You will think that you are lying to yourself and subsequently after you will that identity will completely crumble and you will become the lazy, unproductive talking spur that you usually are. I was into her smile before into that. Ow. The gum is coming thinner and thinner every day. So it's crushing, it's ripping through it. I really wanted to get like a little spoon just to scrape off the gum so I could get, get some fresh air. I probably would have stopped bleeding because of it, but I don't care. I get infection though. I do care about that. I ate, I ate one of these crates. I don't know. Brush my teeth now.